This quick video tutorial will show you how to make a pie chart in Gliffy. This is a relatively new feature currently available in Gliffy Online as of summer 2021, and it will be available in our Confluence and Jira apps at the end of the summer. So to do this, you need to make sure you have your charts library loaded. To do that, you will click more shapes in the lower left here and scroll down and make sure you have this charts set. Click OK, and as you can see, we have two different styles you can choose from. There's this unfilled diagram style, and there's the filled in diagram style. Now, once you are ready to make a pie chart, all you need to do is drag and drop that shape out like I just did, and click this Edit Custom Properties. And here you can control the number of slices. You can add slices by clicking that Add Row button. You can change whether it displays the percentage right here or the value or the name. So I'm going to go ahead and use this to create a pie chart. The example I like using is documenting where people are working from. So I'm going to title this Office Locations. I'm going to change that dark purple because I think it's a little too dark for me. All right, and I'm going to say this is our Minneapolis office and this is our Chicago office. Then in here, I can either input these as a value and it'll help do the math for me, see 50% and 50%, or you could put in the exact percentages you want to use. In this case, I'm going to say we have 40 employees in the Minneapolis office and 52 employees in the Chicago office, and you can see it does that math for you. I'm going to add one more row and we will call this remote. And we are going to say we have 20 employees working remote. I'm going to make this color like a light purple. There you go. So up here you can change the name to either put the label and just give an approximation and then you can hide the legend if you'd like. You can do the percentage or you can do the value, the exact number of employees at that office. You can also do some other styling to change the stroke style of this element or the color of that stroke if you'd like. So I think that looks really clean. I might make this a little bit more dense as well. So that's everything you need to know to make a pie chart in Gliffy. Super simple, relatively new feature as of summer 2021. If you're using our Confluence and Jira apps, look for this coming your way soon. And if you haven't started using Gliffy yet, you can sign up for a free trial linked in this video description. Happy diagramming!